People are like, why do you look so unhappy? It's like, I'm sorry. I apologize for my Asian face. Who's passionate about supply chain <laughs> management? That doesn't exist. Because most Asians are not satisfied with their relationship with their parents. So why would they be satisfied with their boss? Those are the two most like uh, authorities in their life. Listen, if you're Asian out there, uh, just know that you'll never be happy. And uh, it's, just, it's just over. A new study shows that Asian Americans are the least happy with their salary at work. What is the real reason for this? We are going to dive into it and share our insights because I am with professional comedian and former McKinsey consultant, Alvin Kwai. Thank you, Alvin, for being here and sharing your insights, man. What's up, guys? I might have been the worst McKinsey consultant in company history. Still McKinsey, though. McKinsey's Still McKinsey, not an though. easy one. That, can't that's take a- that away from me. <laughs> you hired me. You can't take it back. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about this viral new Pew Research study, guys. So if you guys are interested in this topic at all, please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Let me read it for you. For Asian Americans specifically, only 28% of the workers say they're extremely or very satisfied with how much they are paid. That is the lowest percentage among all racial groups. So Asians are the least happy out of everybody. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Asians are also the racial group with the lowest percentage who say that they are highly satisfied with the relationship with their boss. So they don't like their relationship with their boss. And moreover, only 60% of Asian workers say they can be themselves at work all or most of the time. There are nearly 20 million Asian American citizens residing in the U.S. with 8.8 million in the workforce. Side note, Asian Americans are overrepresented in both low-paying occupations such as manicurists and cooks and also overrepresented in high-paying professions, in, including all the technical fields. So I, I guess, like, uh, before we dive into the comment section, Alvin, what are your initial reactions to this, having been a former Asian professional? Yeah, I, I love that term, overrepresented, in high-paying fields. <laughs> like, oh, we're just, there are too many Asians, like, we're paying them too much. Like, that's a bad thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just these Asians are getting too much money. Overrepresented. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of I think Asians are just overrepresented in work. Period. Like, I think a lot of Asians, especially when it we comes to the it. lower paid jobs, they're working two jobs at least. Love the grind. I think it's the same Asian working both jobs. I think one Asian is being a consultant for McKinsey during the day, and that same Asian guy is going to the Chinese restaurant and cooking <laughs> General Tso's <laughs> chicken Dude, at night. That could have been you working at McKinsey and doing comedy. That comedy would have been your low paid. Yeah, exactly. Hey, very highly paid. Don't ignore him. Can be highly paid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, initially, I think like who is even themselves at work though? No, so that's like a funny question to ask, right? Like, I don't feel like myself at work. Yeah. Who is themselves? No one's themselves at work. That's, that's the whole point. That's why it's work. You're not hanging out with your friends. You know, you're just putting on a fake, fake mask. What, what is some of the most ridiculous stuff you heard at work? Dude, I heard one guy say that he was passionate about supply chain management. Who's passionate about supply (laughs) chain management? That doesn't exist. You're passionate about cocaine. That's what you're passionate about. But, but the supply chain to get to the cocaine is that he has to work the job and it pays him money and then the money buys him to goes to the connect exactly. and, then he gets, and then he gets what he wants. Exactly. It's yeah. the things that aren't said. You right. Know? Exactly. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, I think when it comes to not satisfied with your relationship with your boss, I literally think you could replace boss with parents and that would still apply to most Asians because most Asians are not satisfied with their relationship with their parents. So why would they be satisfied with their boss? Those are the two most like uh, authorities in their life. Right? Yeah, exactly. I think our parents just gave us like trauma with any authority figure. <laughs> Asian kids, listen out there. Your boss isn't going to tell you you love you. He loves you. He's not going to tell you. He's not going to give you a hug. Neither is your dad. It's never going to happen. <laughs> all right. Right. So it's just another like cold parent. Just- um, and then also like, I, I think you, you having worked more professional jobs than me, but I, I, I know this Asian culture is different, especially even the way that we communicate in the workplace. Yeah, absolutely. I think Asian culture, the way you communicate is very straightforward. There's not a lot of beating around the bush, whereas corporate culture is, that's all beating around the bush. It's right. all saying what you have to say without saying it. Like, like, hey, um, I was wondering, could you give me those, do you think you could, uh, we could circle back about those reports that I asked you to do where it's like, AKA, yes. like, hey, do the reports. The longer you can delay what you want to say, the better. Like, hey, I was just wondering if you had the time, maybe in the afternoon you could get me the, you know, in <laughs> three paragraphs later, get me the reports. Right. Possibly. Have you ever been told, uh, hey, why aren't you smiling? Yes. Hey, Alvin, why aren't you smiling? Just- <laughs> Yeah. Is, is something wrong? You're not smiling. Yeah, straight up. Like, why do you look so unhappy? It's like, I'm sorry. I apologize for my Asian face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are you sleeping? Like, no. No, I'm not. You're looking a little tired. This is how I look. 
<laughs> this is my fa- this is the structure of my face. Uh, all right, everybody, we're gonna get in the comment section. All right, main top comment. Well, there's plenty of Asian leaders and managers in California, but I don't know about other places. So this comment was saying like, I worked in different places in America and probably at McKinsey in Atlanta, I'm assuming there wasn't a lot of like high up Asians, but in California there is. Yeah. Which makes sense. California actually has like most of the Asians in America. Yeah. So it's like Asia land. It's also like also Mexico. So it's like Asia and Mexico combined. And that is California. I mean, in in Atlanta, like, you know, it's Georgia. So the only Asians are in Atlanta, I feel like. So there's just not that many of us. Right. Yeah. Um, don't just chase the higher paid job. Find a place that has a good environment and culture for you. What good is some extra salary if you spend eight hours a day in a toxic environment that's against you? How do you? How much do you agree with this? I agree completely. I mean, eight hours a day at least. If not more, if you're in consulting for Probably sure. Probably more, yeah. For like, you know, five, six days of the week, that's that's your life. So if you're miserable, you, you, you're just ruining your life. It's not right. worth the money. You won't even be able to enjoy what you spend the money on. You know? How yeah. good is... If you're only enjoying it for like <laughs> an hour a day, dude, you got to have more time, man. Whoever this coworker was, man, he apparently did a lot of it. He loved it. <laughs> uh, really stuck with you. All right. So another comment was 99% of workers in this world are not satisfied with their salary. The other 1% are the employers and the owners. Yeah. This guy just sounds like a miserable guy who hates his job right. and will probably go on a rampage in, a, in his office. Soon. But I guess what does it mean that Asians are the least satisfied with their pay like does it just mean that asians might have the highest expectations i think they have the highest ex- expectations and i think their parents are also bothering them about it mm. because that whenever like my sister is a real worker you know and anytime she's told my parents her salary they're always like it should be higher it should be higher right i bet if elon musk's parents were chinese they'd be like why aren't you a trillionaire <laughs> right. your disappointment <laughs> Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the expectation can be passed down through our parents. I think one mistake that a lot of parents make, but it's not like fully their fault. They're just being like, you know, achievement oriented immigrant parents is they kind of put their expectations of the things that they didn't accomplish onto their kids. Yeah, absolutely. but it's kind of like that LeVar ball or like any other parent that's like yelling at their kid at their fourth grade AAU game. Yeah. Like, oh, go dunk on that kid. Go dunk. It's like, cause the parent wants to dunk on that kid. Oh, but absolutely. he has to do it. Through, it's a proxy through his child. It, so it's just like your oh. parents might have been like, yeah, like I should get paid more if I was in your job. So you should get paid more to yeah. pay, get paid more. What are yeah. you doing? Yes. You know, um, it's also a proxy for everything they're unhappy about in their lives. You know, dude. so they might be like, you got to dunk on that kid. But inside, they're actually screaming. I can't get hard anymore. <laughs> oh, you mean it could be related to something else? <laughs> yeah. They're oh, just unhappy, dude. Um, what about this last comment said, Asians will never get paid fairly in corporate America. Go be an entrepreneur or join an Asian company that wants you there. Mm. Because basically the feeling is that a lot of Asians, and generally I think a lot of Asians in society, they feel like they do the right things. They yeah. follow the law, they pay their taxes, they work hard at work, but they're still not getting paid exactly what they should be considering they do all the right things. Yeah. Now in America, it can be a different game. Sometimes you gotta play the game differently. You gotta schmooze. You gotta talk a different way. You gotta show leadership in a different way. You gotta mm-hmm. show that you're alpha, carry around that BDE. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I think that a lot of Asians miss out on that, right? Yeah, And, and we're not looking at, I always said this, I said, if Asians looked at how to hack the game and hack corporate America and hack like how they're supposed to act and talk to people with the same scientific lens that they look at anything else with, like their engineering mind or their science biology mind, yeah, they'd figure it out. It'd be game over, dude. Dude. It'd be game over. We got to just look at things <clears throat> scientifically. Yeah. Yeah. So, dating, working, getting promotions. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sign. We got the data. <laughs> yeah, just un- under a microscope. I agree. Um, man, to wrap it up, do you think Asians are ever going to be happy? Are we ever going to be satisfied? Or let me ask the question. Yeah. You guys let me know in the comments down below. All right, we're having this discussion. Will Asians ever be satisfied? Or is this just the desire that is going to drive Asians to always overachieve? Yeah. And that once we feel like that we're happy, we're going to be content, and then we'll become like any other American. Yeah. Listen, if you're Asian out there, uh, just know that you'll never be happy, and uh, it's, just, it's just over. Just over. Does it, at any age? You, is there any Asian that could be happy? Filipinos, no. can they be happy? No. Nobody's no. happy. Half of them will be happy because they're like half Spanish, so that Spanish side will be happy, but the Asians... 
<laughs> but the Asian side, the very Asian side will make them not Happiness happy. will elude you your entire life. Dude, how do you be happy as an Asian? Is it possible? No. Do you just have to lower your expectations? Yeah. You have to have no expectations. Damn. Kill your soul. Not yourself. Kill your soul. Just kill your soul. Yeah. Damn. Not yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Live as an unhappy being for 80 years. If that's the key, I hope that's not the key. But you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, hopefully this uh, this video was helpful as a production con conversation for you. Hopefully it was funny. And uh, yeah, I mean, guys, I'm telling you, we're not lying when I'm saying Alvin is now a comedian, but was a former McKinsey consultant. McKinsey is not just any old consulting firm. No. Like if I, coming out of business school in college, if I was going to do consulting, I was only looking at PwC, man. Yeah. Yeah, you, were, no. you did McKenzie. That's like top level. It's really impressive. It's really, really impressive. Yeah, it's so um, impressive. Everybody check out his comedy. His comedy is also very impressive. It's really impressive. As impressive as his McKenzie career. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Check out Alvin's links down below. And until next time, we out. Peace.